Hey guys, it's Wes, not your normal miner. Today we've got a how to, how to upload content on the EthoFS decentralized node network. This is powered by Ether1. So we're really excited to be a part of this beta test here, guys. We're going to be walking you through the process on how to upload content on the EthoFS uh, decentralized node network. Um, I'm a huge fan of Ether1. Been around since the beginning with mining. Um, I've also set up nodes from um, service nodes to master nodes. I'm currently running a gateway node as well. Very, very excited about this project, but we're going to walk you through the quick process on uploading to a decentralized node network. We are a cryptocurrency mining based channel focusing on pool testings, overclock setting tests, miner program tests. We did build a remote garden location so we could regulate heat, show you what we did with the updated electric, um, and everything along with um, having multiple miners and dealing with all of those types of things. But today, once again, we're going to walk you through the process of this Etho FS and uploading on the decentralized node network. We're also going to talk with you about a contest that we've got going on. We've paired up with Joseph of the Ether1 team and Not Your Normal Miner. And what we're going to do is, for the next seven days, um, we're going to run this contest. So keep an eye out for that. We're giving away 5,000 Ether1 or the equivalent of a service node. So like I said, uh, keep track on that. Um, we're really excited to be doing this. I'm a huge fan of Ether1. Um, we paired up with Joseph on the Ether1 team um, to, to be able to offer this contest for you. So it's going to be going on for seven days um, after this video is published. Um, we'll talk with you a little bit more about this um, coming up. So quick introduction, um, EthoFS. EthoFS is the first example of decentralized application specific nodes de being deployed on the Ether1 network to support a decentralized content and website hosting platform. Real simple guys, this is a place that we're going to be able to put your content, spread it out all over the world on these networks, not going to ever have to worry about it going down. So first things first, you guys are going to want to come to ether1.org, check out things, make sure this is a project that you like, I always like to tell you do your research. After doing your research, what you're going to need to do is you're going to either need to click the link to get your desktop wallet because you are going to have to pay with Etho to upload your content on the EthoFS network. So you can click the desktop link here or you can also um, over in Discord, we're going to have a, a in the description down below, we're going to have a link to Discord. Um, there's also a link to Discord at the bottom of Ether1.org's um, site. But you're going to get over to Discord, the Ether1 Discord. You're going to go down to Wallet Development. And over here, there's a link to the newest version of their desktop wallet, which is still being worked on as well. So you got a couple different ways that you're going to get those wallets, but you need to have some Etho around so that we can pay to upload our content. Also over here, you're going to be able to see um, the EthoFS beta testing. There's some great links here. Explains to you a little bit more about, about this and everything that, that we're doing. But once again, we're talking with you today about the EthoFS decentralized node network and how to upload content to it. So there's a couple great links here, but also want to real quick just talk with you about the team. Um, the Ether1 team's great. If you guys have any questions on this process or any other things, you got to hit the team up over here in Discord. You're going to get re re responses um, very, very quickly. It's one of the things why this project is continuing to grow and to continuing to have success is their customer service. So talks with you a little bit more about the EthoFS. Um, it's got some nice links here. Walk you through all of this stuff. So first things first, there is a link here on how to upload it. You're going to click on this link, scroll down. You are going to have to have um, the Ether1 MetaMask installed, or there's a regular version of the MetaMask installed. Um, there's two great ways to, to walk you through here. If you do want to install the, the Ether1, there's a nice link. You're going to click on that. Up here in the right hand, it says remove from Chrome. That's where your button is going to be to where you would actually install with Chrome. So that's really nice. Once you get that installed, there's a couple things that you're going to have to do. Um, it did take me a second to figure out where that, that went. 
up in the upper right hand corner is the MetaMask. So once you get that installed, click that link up there. It's going to have you do a couple things. It's going to have you create your, your password. Then it's going to have you make sure that you save your recovery seeds. Once you've done that, it's going to go ahead and show you that you've got your wallet. You can also, once again, go through the instructions here on how to do the stock made a mask. But once you have your wallet, we're going to need to either A, create an account, or B, import your existing account. I'm not recommending importing an existing account. I'm going to recommend keeping this etho separate from your, your other wallets. Um, there's no issue. I've talked with the team. There should be no issue with, with anything like that just a personal preference. So I did start a new wallet. I got some ethos sent over there. If you don't get that ethos sent over there, there's going to be a little confirmation and that confirmation looks a little something like this. So I did get some ethos sent. We did get it confirmed. So now we're ready to go. Once you're ready to go, there's a nice link. You can click on that to upload to the ETHO decentralized network. This is where you're going to enter your, your username. I've already entered that. Once you click on that, you are going to be able to see here a couple nice things on this interface. Um, takes a couple seconds. It's going to let you know how many nodes, those gateway nodes are online currently. This isn't still in beta test, so it's a work in progress. Um, but nice things. It shows you um, nodes online, shows you current ETHO price, shows you your, your hosting price there, shows you a lot of different things. So we're really, really excited about that. So one of the things we're going to do now is we're going to come down to new hosting contract. This gives you everything here that you need to see. Down here, there's a contract duration blocks. And we are going to come back here and scroll down a little farther on that Etho FS beta over in Discord. And what you're going to be able to see is their estimate for how long those blocks will last. Uh, I'm going to choose 300,000 blocks. I want this picture to be up for at least or about 45 days. So we're going to come back here. We're going to create a contract. I'm going to say, not your normal miner, photo. So this is my contract here. And then what's really great is this is drag and drop. So I can go ahead and just like this, drag and drop my photo that I want, which is a photo of my remote garden location. We're going to come down here and click 300,000 blocks. Once again, the reason I'm doing that is I want it to be on for about approximately 45 days. And once we're done with this, we're going to go ahead and hit confirm. Now, once again, this is in beta testing. I had this issue earlier when I first tried. Didn't work, so we're going to come back here again. Everything's the same and hit confirm. Once you do that and, and, and it's going to start getting you set up, it is going to ask you to confirm a transaction. So it's showing me here that this transaction is going to cost... I don't know exactly how much, so we're going to go ahead and hit submit. And now it's waiting for confirmation. So after, after talking with the development team, I have found and, 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 and seeing everything over there that it does take a few minutes to get this first upload going. Um, once again, this is in beta test, but now we are uploading in progress. So this is great, guys. Um, it looks like it didn't take out very much ether at all for that. So, we submit that, we're uploading. Nice and easy, guys, nice and easy. So, now, you guys heard me talk a little bit earlier about a contest. That's right, we have paired up with Joseph of the Ether1 team and Not Your Normal Miner. And what we're going to be doing is we are giving away a service node, 5,000 Ether1. Rules for the contest are as follows. Okay. Super simple, guys. We've got five things that we're going to need you to do. First thing you're going to want to do is subscribe to the channel. Next thing we're going to have you do is comment down below with your Etho1 or your Ether1 address. i got to have that. Um, number three is you're going to need to join the Ether1 Discord. In the description down below, I'm going to have a link for that. Number four is you're going to need to upload an image or a website to the EthoFS Decentralized Node Network um, and post the link in the Share Your Etho content. Number five is react to the message in the contest and giveaways. So the Ether1 team is going to put in that con 
contest and giveaways, a little section just about this contest. So, once again, you got to subscribe to the channel. You got to comment in down below with your Ether One address to me. You got to join that Ether One Discord. We are going to ask that you upload an image, a website to the EthoFS network, and please post that link in the share your Etho content. Last thing you got to do is react to the message in the contest and giveaways. This contest is going to run for seven days from once this video is uploaded. And how it's going to work is the Ether One team will randomly select um, a winner um, on their end and then they're going to confirm it with me on my end. So once again, this is random, but we do have five things that we need you to do. I did partner up with Joseph uh, on the Ether One team, and what we're doing is a 5,000 Ether One giveaway, the equivalent of a service node. If you guys like this kind of content, don't hesitate to check out um, some of our other videos. Um, we do have down here as well some playlists, so you can just check out all those pool tests garden updates, channel updates, and those types of things. We are also on Twitter, um, in the link below, we got some descriptions there as well. Um, you'll be able to follow us and keep up with our latest and greatest in our live streams. We are also over on bit.tube. Bit.tube is a place where you can get paid in tube while watching tube. You can also find me over in Discord. Click the link below. It's going to bring you over to the technicals and scroll down just a little bit to not your normal miner here you can see this is our remote garden location and we are hashing away here so once again today we have been talking with you about the etho fs decentralized node network being able to upload content powered by ether one and just like that we've got our photos uploaded on the block guys so now we have uploaded everything, Some, something simple, took less than, I'd say three minutes. So if you guys like this content, um, give us a subscription, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you don't like this, comment down below, tell us why. But once again, we'll go through that contest rules one more time. You gotta subscribe to the channel, comment with your Etho address below, join the Ether One Discord, upload an image to the website on EthoFS and share that link in the share your etho content react to the message in contest and giveaways and just like that in seven days you could be five thousand ether one richer once again this is Wes not your normal miner and we've been talking with you about uploading content on the etho fs decentralized node network